Our research vision is that molecular structure and interactions are key to understanding our world, whether it's for health or sustainability or simply long-term human standards of living. I'm Alison Roger, the Head of Molecular Sciences at Macquarie University in Sydney. Our department's an exciting place where we make molecules and measure their properties. Our synthetic methods range from the traditional fume hood and glove box to persuading biological systems to make what we want. We benefit from working with our colleagues in geochemistry, physics, engineering, biology and at the Macquarie Hospital which is on campus. We love to see our projects integrating fundamental research and solving real world problems in areas ranging from developing catalytic materials to understanding environmental microbiomes. I'm Professor Nicole Packer. I work in the Department of Molecular Sciences at Macquarie University, Sydney, Australia. And my speciality is sugars, or glycans, that coat the surface of every cell in our body. These sugars coat the surface. They are the molecules which are important in interacting between bacteria and cells, between cancer cells, and how cells move through the body. For example, we use liquid chromatography and mass spectrometry to determine the structures of these sugars down to the linkage of the different monosaccharides. We do mass spectrometry and get spectra that look like this, and we can assign structures of the sugars that are on the surface of ovarian cancer versus non-ovarian cancer cells. If we do that, we can compare the two situations and we can see differences that occur between the two cell lines, and those differences we can target with uh, therapeutic drugs and with uh, diagnostics to determine the cancer cells. I'm Dr. Mirzai, Scientific Director of Australian Proteome Analysis Facility at Macquarie University. Proteomics is a strictly the largest scale characterization of entire set of proteins expressed in a cell or organism. The overarching aim of proteomics is to use analytical chemistry platforms to answer fundamental biological questions. The main technologies and techniques required for proteomics analysis are the latest advances in protein chemistry for separation of proteins, high-end mass spectrometer for identification of proteins, and lastly, larger scale computation for visualization of the data generated through proteomics experiments. We use proteomics in plant biology to enhance our understanding of the complex relationship between the stress tolerance and crop productivity. Our recent work on rice has resulted in identification of pathways and markets for generation of rice varieties with higher yield and more resistance to severe environmental conditions in Australia. My name is Dr. Martin Ostrowski. I'm a molecular oceanographer and I'm the Deputy Director of the Macquarie Marine Research Centre. So trying to describe the symphony of biochemical transformations that microbes are carrying out requires multidisciplinary approaches. For example, we've been using modelling and big data and large data sets to build ecosystem scale models using our molecular information. I'm Professor Barbara Messley. I am the Executive Dean of Science and Engineering here at Macquarie University. In our research team, we design and make organometallic catalysts for promoting chemical transformations in a highly efficient way. We achieve this using a number of different strategies. We synthesise, for example, novel catalysts featuring multiple metal centres. I'm Sinead Keaveney. I'm a research fellow working with the Messley Group. In our group, we're also interested in developing ways to convert waste gases, such as carbon dioxide, into more useful compounds. We mount our homogeneous catalysts on solid supports, allowing the catalyst to be easily separated and recycled. We perform mechanistic studies using computational modelling, electrochemistry and NMR, including using parahydrogen to observe transient intermediates. This mechanistic insight guides our catalyst design, with our overall aim being the development of more efficient and sustainable chemical transformations. I'm Dr Louise Brown and I'm co-director of the teaching programs in molecular sciences. And we are known for our research-led undergraduate and postgraduate training programs with a view of nurturing talent and growing future scientists. A key teaching activity in our department in the field of synthetic biology is our involvement in the Global International Genetically Engineered Machine or iGEM competition. 
I'm Professor Robert Willows. I'm the Teaching Director within the Department of Molecular Sciences and I work with Dr Louise Brown on the undergraduate research projects. iGEM projects have been largely developed from our research programs in photosynthesis. These projects challenge students to address global challenges such as future sustainable energy production. The teams have been successful and a major research program with industry support in biohydrogen production has arisen from these projects. The best way to describe what we do is that we have a molecular perspective of the world. Our research is directed towards creating a sustainable environment and also towards better understanding of health and disease. And these efforts are powered by integrating chemical and biomolecular sciences.